guys and welcome back to another video here on this channel. So this week I'm going to be filming a vlog where I'm going to get up to a few interesting things this week. Um, I need to finish my Mia dress and I also want to be getting on with new craft that I received in the post from Craftiosity and I'm gonna unbox that with you and we'll make that together as well because that looks super fun. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd take you along. The garden also is growing like crazy, so I'm going to give you a little bit of an update as well in this video on my plant situation. And yeah, all good vibes. So let's get on into the video. So it's another day and my concrete craft has set, well I'm hoping so because it's been well over the, I think they said 48 to 36 hours and I think I did it on Sunday and today is Friday so I should bloody well hope so. So I decided to let it set in the actual original box itself which can I just say I just love the fact that the suggestions they make are just including everything of what they've already given and there's no wastage. Um, and like for example this box is just completely recyclable which I think is great but also useful for actually just keeping your table tidy and clean and keeping the craft out of the way from when you're doing other stuff so I think that's great so here's the moment of truth so here is the mold and this is the concrete inside as you can see it's a white concrete so there's a couple of bubbles in there so maybe I didn't shake it properly I might need to keep the case actually the box above while I do this because I think this actually could still be quite messy. Let me bring you a little bit closer. So you're actually at my sewing desk. I'm just going to move my pins and things out of the way. These are all the bits that came with it. And I'm just going to refer back to my instructions. So they're saying to take the mould off and then sand the edges with the sandpaper that they've provided which is very handy, which is a very um, fine sample, P600, that one. So here it goes, let's see what happens. 
a little bit scary because yeah well not done it before so this is all very new I must say this must be a really particular type of concrete though for it to be white not grey wow it's very smooth the concrete right oh wow wow look at that what a lovely quality right then what I'm going to do is take out this inner mould here Wow, there we go. So here is the um, outline. I'm trying not to get the other stuff everywhere. I mean, there has been some removal and I actually don't know what that is. Is that part of the concrete or is that something else? I don't know, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start sanding down the rough edges just to make that edge a little bit nicer. So now that that part has done, I've sanded it all down so it's lovely and smooth on both sides. And so the next step here is to somehow put this little pattern onto here and painting it with the blue paint they've provided and the um, acrylic paint that they've also provided. So I'm not very good at painting. Um, so I'm not sure how realistic that's going to turn out. Oh, draw around the template, outline in pencil, then place the template face down and back over. Oh my gosh, there's a transfer. So essentially, if I use a pencil to go around here and then turn it upside down and then scribble on top, then apparently it comes off onto the actual piece of concrete, which sounds cool. Cool. reminds me of something I used to do at school and I can't think what but I remember I used to love doing it so anyway I'll get started on that because I think this could take a little while and then I will join you back here it goes let's see if this works Oh my gosh, let's see. Um, kind of did. Not sure, let's see. Let's see if we manage to get this right. So, I'm gonna go over with the paint. Ooh, lovely blue, very nice blue. Right, I'm gonna go in with this here. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's turned out so good. I'm so impressed by it because I really can't paint by hand to save my life. I have such an unsteady hand. By having this guide and outline, it's just been so easy. And actually I'm really impressed. I mean, it's not dry yet, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is the what they call the trinket dish and how pretty. I haven't really followed the exact pattern that they've done, but I've kind of got a bit of freestyle with it. And so this is where you can pop your little rings or jewellery on your bedside table maybe, or even your car keys and things like that. And yeah, I really love it. Obviously being a sewist, that's not what I'm using it for. I'm going to use this as a fabric weight. And especially for when I'm in the guard, I need something extra durable. Something to pop in the centre that I could put my pins in. And yeah, I think it's just so beautiful. How nice is that? And to be honest, it's really taught me how to work with concrete. And it's something that I really wanted to do before. I wanted to be able to make little pots and things like that. But to be honest, I just didn't really understand how it behaved or you know how I can manipulate things. And from this kit, I've actually learnt how to not only make your own moulds, but the technique in order to get the best result. For example, to get this smooth finish, um, they recommended to kind of shake the tray and pat it just to get any air bubbles out. And again, something I wouldn't have done. So they give really good tips on sort of dealing with the material and things like that. And I just feel like I could make anything I want now with the concrete and I would be set to go. 
Um, you can make things like door stops or what I might even do is make smaller fabric weights. I think that'd be really cool. But this is a great one and it's just perfect for like putting your clips in or your pins. If you're sewing, it's nice to have it on your work desk and it looks super pretty. Um, now this kit was gifted to me by Craftiosity and um, I was a little bit sceptical at first to be honest. I was thinking, hmm, not sure because usually I like to stick to just my sewing crafts. But I've had so much fun making this and it's really taken me out of my comfort zone and it's really helped me be more creative with other things and think outside the box and use new materials um, and yeah it's been really really fun and actually I would love it if someone gifted this to me it would just give me that little project to do in the evenings on the weekends just to switch off and do something really mindful and yeah I mean I would love to receive it so um, I've left a link in the description box down below if you wanted to sign up for that. You pay monthly and every month they send out a new little pack. So sometimes I'm like macrame or mosaic piecing and just all sorts. Um, and yeah, I just think it's just such a fun idea. And yeah, you don't need to think about it. It gets sent straight to your door with all the equipment that you need inside along with all the instructions. And actually, Talking about the instructions, the instructions are so easy to follow. They give a literal step by step and you cannot go wrong with it. And yeah, I just love everything about it. And yeah, I think at the moment they've got 10% off. So make the most of that for signing up. And they also give you options to participate in competitions as well. So I think that's really, really cute. There's a nice little community it seems on here as well. So yeah, I'm definitely getting gonna get another one. I've seen one where they made these um, really cute, like woven, mats that you can put use like as a coaster or to put your little pot of plants on I think it was and yeah they just look so cute um so yeah definitely check them out down below perfect gift for like mother's day christmas etc or birthdays so yeah have a little look if you're wondering this is the dress that I made using the dress down tutorial I've linked my sew with me for making this and actually this is probably my most worn me made items if you want to check out that video I've linked that down below as well I've got a few exciting things lined up for my next sewing vlog for next week I have a festival to go to which I am planning on making a lovely neon top and yeah so that's going to be fun but yes that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next